welcome back to Building with the Boys. Uh, I'm Scott, and you are watching Hachette's Build the Titanic Part 2. Uh, we found this in a store today. We've not actually received our subscription yet. Um, but we saw this in a store today and thought, you know what, we'll get it. What harm can it do? Because um, we're quite eager to get on with this. I really enjoyed Part 1, so I'm quite eager to get on with Part 2. Um, it's quite a nice thing. We got our first piece of the hull. Um... And it's um it's it's gonna it's gonna be a beauty. This really is. The colours look lovely on this, and I'll show you all that in a minute. One thing I will show you um, is apart from part one. Now, there's been a lot of concerns about the part from part one um, regarding this hatch, some of the colouring, and also uh, the decking. So uh, I don't know what to tell you because the the concern was that this decking is going to peel. Mine's not. Mine mine. There's no. There's no peeling, nothing's coming away, nothing's bubbling, there's no mindset firm. Um, so a lot of people are advising to use a glue. Yeah, I mean it, it can't do any harm. You know, if if you wanna if you wanna just give that little bit of insurance policy of adding some glue to the why not? You know, if that's what you want to do, do it. Um with regards to the hatch, yes, it's not as detailed as the one that was originally on the Titanic. I mean there's there's some little uh doors or like you know. Hinges missing from it. Some of the skirt is different. Um, it's not as detailed. Okay. Um, but it's up to you. I mean, I, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think it's, it's... It's not a deal breaker for me to um, to not do this. So, um, yeah, I, I don't think it's enough to to be upset about. Uh, and then there's the, the thing regarding colours. Now... With colours, um, no one knows. This is the whole. This is the whole point. There are no colour pictures of the Titanic, so nobody knows what colour it was. We can make educated guesses what colour it was, um, but the most likely case is that it was either grey, black, maybe a dark green. Um, there could have been a brass colour, like a bronzy colour. Who knows? No one knows. No one knows. That's that's just the reality of it. This went to the bottom of the ocean. No one knows. Now, some of the things that have been said is, oh, this is darker and this is darker. You've got to be careful with that, because a lot of the pictures that are being presented as the Titanic are of the Britannic. Um, and all the, or the, uh, the Olympic. And what happened there was they, they painted um, certain parts of that boat for the sake of the Pathé newsreels. So they'd look better on, on camera. So, just because it appears darker... In some of those pictures or some of those newsreels, doesn't mean that was the actual colour that it was. No one knows. This is one of the mysteries of the Titanic because, again, there's a lot of myth that goes with the Titanic versus the reality of it, uh, and that's that's all part of its kind of charm, I suppose, to a lot of people. But um, the Titanic wasn't a big deal. I mean, that's another that's another myth. The, this whole thing that everyone was raving about the Titanic, they weren't. No one really gave a damn about the Titanic. To be honest with you, there were more important things going on in the world whilst the Titanic set sail. I mean, we were very close to going into uh, to, to war. Um, a lot was going on in the world. No one really gave a damn that White Star Line has had another boat coming out. They didn't. They didn't. I mean, the Titanic didn't sell out. Its maiden voyage wasn't sold out. I mean, there was like a third less passengers on board than there should have been. Um, it was just another boat. It might have been glorious. And I'm sure amongst maritime um, fans and experts and people, it was a huge deal. To the rest of the world, no one really cared. It wasn't. It just wasn't that big of a deal, it wasn't. Um, so no one documented uh, exactly what was on board the Titanic. There are pictures of the interior. There's there's kind of more pictures of the interior than there are of the exterior decks of the Titanic because nobody, you know, at the time, no one thought, oh, you know, 110 years from now, some guys making a model are gonna want to know what color this is. We better document it. They didn't. Um, so ultimately, what this boils down to is how happy you are or aren't with it. So don't stress. Just because someone is banging on that something should be green, or this should be grey, or this should be... It shouldn't. No one knows. I mean, it could, it could be pink for all we know. So it's what you're happy with. If you're looking at it, and to your eye it's bothering you, and you're thinking that should be grey, paint it grey. If it's bothering you, you're thinking that should be black, paint it black. If you're looking at it thinking, I'm all right with it, you're all right with it, you know? So it's, um, don't stress, don't stress. Not what model building's about. Model building's about chilling out. Too many people are getting furious over models, and it's like, it's a model, man. You're missing the point. Relax. Take your time. Relax. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
There are no right or wrongs here, man. It's your model. You do what you want to do with it. And that's the uh, that's the way I see it. So let's crack number two open, get into it, and we'll have a we'll have a look at the uh, the first parts of the hull. Very exciting. This. So this is what you get with uh, issue two. These are the parts you get. So we get these two pieces of hull. Uh, these are metal uh, and very lovely metal as well. Very smooth finish. Uh, it's a lovely color. Uh, it's very nice. Um, we get the we get the Titanic nameplate again. Perfect, lovely. Uh, it's uh, it's metal. Uh, screws. We get this brace, uh, which is plastic, that will hold uh, the whole parts together. Now, you might think it's plastic. Actually, I think that's quite good. I think there are other ships that have had problems with kind of gaps. Plastic's going to be a little bit more malleable. It's going to pull together, whereas metal, you know, it's kind of, once it is where it is, it is. Whereas, I'm thinking the theory being that plastic should pull these together a little bit tight because it you know, have a bit more movement in the mill and then as standard with every part where you get their screwdriver it's a perfectly fine screwdriver it's not gonna last very long get yourself a decent screwdriver get yourself a little wearer uh a ph uh a one a ph double o a ph one get one of each of those and you're pretty much covered for every screw you're going to encounter in uh in a part work but um we're going to crack on with it build this and um it shouldn't take long i think it's going to be a few screws and we'll have a look what it looks like at the end our builds we use a wear a pho i said oh one I'm talking nonsense it's been a long day pho ph double and ph1 will cover pretty much every screw need ph1's a, a bit thicker it was it will still work on these screws but uh and then a ph double is a very small one what's so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two sections of hull and then quite simply we're gonna clip those two together like that and we are going to hold these together with, uh, they are called double A screws, I believe. Uh, AM screws, which is a nice guide. I mean, A is your size, M is your indicator. So what you'll find with this is you will have uh, AP screws as well. So it'll be, each screw will have a letter, uh, two letter system. So the first letter will be the the size, the second one, what it's for. So AM will mean metal. So the M stands for metal, AP screws are going to plastic. I don't know if they're BAWs. Never know. Might be wood screws in this. Uh, we're using three and one oil. We just touched the uh, the tips of the screws in three and one oil to help the the, uh, the process when we're doing metal to metal because sometimes these can be a little tight paint build up and things like that. That's gone in very easily. Um, so we've got that one there. Bang a second one in, and then once we've done this, we're going to apply this plastic brace to hold it sort of together. Uh, we don't uh, put the name plate on in this one, so that's one for your kind of storage box. And who knows how long it'll be before we put that on. It could be in the next issue, it could be in the next month, it could be in the next year, or it could be the last thing we do in stage 130. <laughs> who knows? Uh, okay, so that's that's uh, easy enough. Right, um, so we're going to put this uh, brace on. Okay, so can we go over here? Forget this one, out. Yeah, it's bound to be the last way I do it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, this is where I should look at the instructions closer. There we go. Okay, so it does fit in. You know when you've got it, it, it slots right in. Um, so this is it. This is all you've really got to do. Once this is once this is in, that's the end of this. Uh, that's the end of this issue. So we're going to put four into here. Uh, and again. We're using the three and one because we're going through plastic we're going into metal so the screw is pretty much the indicator of exactly where we're going with this so put one screw in here so, uh, now we're going to go to the opposite end so we'll put one in here Just tight. Uh, and then the final two screws are going to go in the middle section. So one's going to go into the section of the black, one's going to go into the section of the red. Which is a nice easy way of seeing which goes where. So there'll be these two holes here. So the first one goes in here. So 
Just have a quick check of the instructions just to make sure I'm putting it in the right place. I have it goes just in there. And then our final one. It's going to go into the opposing section. So we are going to go just in here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, and that's what we are left with, this very nice piece of the hull. And this will be actually the front of the ship. It's very detailed. Uh, lines are all very lovely. Um, and then we do have, as I said, the Titanic nameplate has come with this. I'm not entirely sure where it's going to go, but I can see from the holes I could hazard a guess. But again, they're not, they're asking us not, this is plastic. Sorry, I said this was metal, it isn't. This is plastic. Um, when being not being told to install this, but I would imagine we're going to go about there. I would guess here, here. So I'd imagine that's where we're going to go. But that is all there is to do in stage two, and it's um, it's pretty lovely, man. I mean, I don't know what we can do the forecastle, and actually there's going to be a lot more to this boat, but yeah, I mean ultimately, that's kind of. The vibe is going to be higher up, but yeah, that's kind of where we're going to be. But you get an idea now. I think this is lovely. I really do. And this this feels solid as well, which is nice. Anyone that's building the Eddie Stobart will know what I'm talking about. The doors on the Eddie Stobart feel a little flimsy. Um, this doesn't. This feels good. Solid. Um, not strong enough to take an iceberg. But, you know, solid. So that is it for part two. Um... I like that. I mean, I really like this. I mean, uh, I just keep banging on about how much I like this. This is lovely. This is is a very see the curve on it. It's very solid, which is bloody reassuring when you're making something this kind of size and this price as well. It's very nice, um, and it's gone together very easily so far. Very easily. Uh, again, when it comes to modification, if I mean, if you're a modder, you're going to mod everything. You know, I don't have yet to see one of these part where it's been released that everyone went, it's fine, there's nothing that needs modding. With the exception of maybe R2-D2. I didn't really see many mods for R2-D2. I think there was a, a restraining bolt or something else, but not really. I mean, all the other cars they put out, it, it's always, you know, I'll, I'll, I want to mod this, I'm done. And then that's your choice. Um, it's completely your choice. I don't think maybe you should make people feel kind of like they're doing it wrong if they don't mod it. It's their choice, you know. It's your choice, their choice, and that's the way it should be. So there's been a lot of kind of griping about this. I think what it is, is there are currently... See, I nearly did it myself, and I'll explain what I nearly did then. There are currently four Titanic models on the market. I was about to say there are three Titanic models on the market of this scale. Okay? Um, and I think there's a degree of snobbery with each one. So the, the, the first one at the gate was the Trumpeter. So there is... Uh, a model kit called uh, by a company called Trumpeter, and it is a traditional uh, kind of plastic and sprue model kit, where you make the entire thing. It's it's like the like the old Airfix kits, that sort of thing. You make the entire thing from the plastic kit that you get. You get the whole lot, and you clip away and you do your thing. It then needs priming and painting and all the gubbins that you're going to do to it. Um, it's a different style of modelling than it is to part works. And I think from every level of modelling, there's a degree of snobbery. And I think one section of the modelling community look at another one a little bit snobby. And that's sad, really. I think the point I'm, I'm making is, and I was going to do it myself, and I'll explain why, because I'll tell you what the other models on the market are. So there's, there's this one, there's the Hachette model, which is a traditional part work, where the painting and things like that are, are done for you. Um, and this is your, your nuts and bolts and screws version of this. With some glue in, but not much. Um, and that's kind of seen, I think, the, the traditional modellers kind of look down the nose a little bit from what I've seen of forums. This isn't, I'm not judging everybody, I'm just going by what I've seen, where it's like, it's not a model. It is a model. Um, I don't enjoy painting, I hate painting, hate it. So I'm never going to build those kits because I just don't enjoy the paintwork. For some people, that's what it's all about. For me, it isn't. It's, it's building and putting it together. I'm not interested in doing the, the plastic version of the kit, no matter how good it is. This is what I want to do. Cause I don't enjoy I don't enjoy the paintwork. If I did, I'd be all over those, but I don't. But I don't think there should be any kind of that's not as good as this one because you didn't paint it. That's nonsense. Um, then you've got the Eagle Moss version. Now the Eagle Moss version isn't in the same scale as the other three. 
because Eagle Moss Erosion isn't a 1 to 100, it's 250, 1 to I think 250 scale, it's just slightly smaller, and it's all wood. Now that confuses the hell out of me, because I don't understand why they've made the Titanic out of wood. I find that weird. But then again, you've got, you've got people that make wooden boats, so I get what the appeal of that is too. It, it's the, the last thing I want to do. I'm not interested in laying every single piece of decking and sanding and no, 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 no. And again, painting it. I don't want to paint it. Then the fourth model, and this is where I'm guilty of snobbery myself because I was going to say there's three. There is a fourth. Is the Lego Titanic um, in one two hundred scale. Now, I've seen everybody coming out fighting their corner for their preferred model. Where some people go, the, the, the Lego Titanic is better than all of these. Whereas I'm going, it's Lego. Now, I like Lego. You'll see that on our channel, we, we do Oscar Loves Lego. But do I consider it modelling? No. And that's because I'm being a snob for Partworks. Um, it is modelling. It, of course it's modelling. Someone is building a model. And if they enjoy that, it doesn't affect me. And this is the difference. It's like, if that's what they enjoy doing, it doesn't affect, it doesn't affect me. Enjoy it. But then what I'm doing shouldn't affect you. So it, it, you, you can see what I'm saying. So it's like, don't worry about anyone else. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Pick the model you want to build and build it. Someone is always going to tell you the one they built is better than yours. And you're always going to tell somebody the one that you built is better than theirs. If you're happy with it, that's all that matters. Don't get dragged into these kind of weird arguments about um, my model's better than your model. My dad's bigger than your dad. So yeah, don't don't get drawn into these um these weird arguments, man. That ain't what this is about. It's about taking time for yourself, building something you enjoy, and not stressing about what everyone else is doing with theirs. Um that's pretty much it. We've got Rootmaster due to arrive tomorrow, so there should be Rootmaster videos up tomorrow or Sunday. Um a few other bits and pieces. Amazingly. Uh, we got charged for Ecto-1 last night. That's not moved in nearly two months. So it looks like Ecto-1 is uh, rolling again. And that should be good because we're coming to the end of that one. More R2-D2 should be coming either next week or the week after. Um, and then Disney Dolls House. <laughs> which I know, again, not for everybody. But we're making the Disney Dolls House and that is coming. If you enjoyed this, uh, we do, like I said, we've got a lot, of other, a lot of other builds on the channels. Not just that, we do things with the kids as well, which is building the boys and build with the boys. Uh, but we also, uh, my eldest son is too cool for everything at the moment. So we have a, a talking Marvel show, we talk Marvel. We have uh, a Lego show, we talk Lego, even though I was just kind of dumping on it earlier. Don't tell him. Um... But it's, it's a lot of fun, so if you'd like to come along, we'd love to have you. So feel free to hit the subscribe button, and you'll see every part of these builds. Um, give us a like if you enjoyed it, um, and any comments you have, any questions you have, any suggestions you have, because again, I'm on, I'm on for modding, I'm all for it. So if you've got any suggestions for modding tips, please put them in the comments, love to hear them. Um, and that's it, so we will see you next time, and remember, as always, in a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice, man. It really is that simple. We'll see you next time.